Hi guys, welcome back to Impossible. So next up, I have cancer. How my cancer is doing tonight? I'm actually exhausted. Um, I didn't go to sleep until like almost three o'clock in the morning. And then I had to get up and drop my son off to school. I am like, oh my God, you have no idea. But I'm getting these videos out for you. I'm getting these videos out. All right, Spirit of Love and Light. Please give me clear and precise answers for cancer tonight. Tough love. Whoa. Tough love, 49. Okay. Um, it is time to tell the truth about something you have been avoiding. Wow. Okay. So this is, again, um, it's like speaking up about things that you don't like, things that you're noticing, th things that you see. is uh, tough love. It's time to tell the truth about something you have been avoiding. Um, maybe you guys are going to be having a serious talk with someone. Maybe someone is going to have a serious talk with you, like they're avoiding talking to you about something. Um, but this is going to hit hard. It's going to hit home to many things, okay? Um, some of you may be 49. Um, 49, 9 plus 4 is 13. So some of you all may be born July 13th, July 4th, because 3 plus 1 is 4. All right, let's keep going. Wow, this is going to be a hard conversation, I feel, um, concerning love and a long-term kind of situation. Um, yeah, and it's going to hit home to a lot of truths, okay, that, um, you know, somebody was probably avoiding but it's a uh, serious talk coming yikes okay soul group 53 so some of you all may be born july 8th some of you all may be 35 or uh, 53 okay um you are you are getting ready to unite the me with the members of your soul family okay so soul group uh basically is that um uh, get ready to align with people um, because everybody belongs to a different soul group. Okay? That's how it goes. I see um, something flying around. Um, right? So, um, get in line with like-minded people. Okay? Um, and you may me be meeting someone um, that you're gonna, you're gonna instantly gravitate to. Like a soulmate. Okay? Within your soul group, though. All right. Possibly you guys are in a karmic situation right now. Okay. So let's see where this uh, reading is heading. All right. Again, spiritual teacher too. Some of you all may be born July 20th. Um, be 20 years old. But spiritual teacher, again, you are being guided to step into your role as a spiritual teacher. So soul group is spiritual teacher. Um, yeah. So, uh, that is your calling to step up and to, um, be a light worker. You know, it could be like, um, speaking at, if you go to church, speaking at church or speaking at events, you know, being a mentor, you know, stuff like that. Okay. Oh, wow. Harmony. Get on key. All right, so I see around this conversation that's going to take place. Uh, some of y'all may be feeling like, um, you know, you want to work on things with this person. But a lot of truths is going to be told. Uh, tough love. Uh, this is going to be a tough conversation regarding um, how someone feels. Like you, how you feel about a person or how they feel about you. Um, but somebody was avoiding this conversation, but now it's going to be heard. There's probably too many people involved in this situation as well. Because, um, you see, um, it's like you're in the middle, but two people right here. It's not, it's not on key. This relationship is not on key. Okay. You wanted to get on key, but, uh, no, this is not, I see something. This is, <laughs> Let me uh, let me just continue. Let me just continue. But yeah, um, this is gonna be. But I see that you guys may be meeting someone um, new um, if you guys are getting out of a relationship, and you know, yeah, a breakthrough. Be bold. So some of you all are stepping up to the plate. You know, you're being bold right now. All right, uh, speaking your truth to someone. Um, 
Yeah. Really speaking. Really, really. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Clarity right under your nose. Wow. You see? So uh, a lot of truth is going to be told with this tough love. Okay. Don't cry. Um, it's going to make you very emotional. I feel very emotional right now. And I'm not a want to cry. But this is something that's going to hit home. Um, yeah. All right. So I got some new cards. Uh, let's continue. Let's continue. But um, yeah. Um, this is called What's the Tea? But it's going to be a breakthrough for you. And you're going to be bold about this. Because this, whatever, uh, whatever this is concerning, this serious talk, I see it's concerning a relationship. But this is going to be your breakthrough to be bold and to really go on your spiritual path. Okay? Mm -hmm. And I see that some somebody is spiritually awakening. Maybe you are spiritually awakening. Or this uh, a pers another person is spiritually awakening to their truth. But, uh, yeah, because I see somebody gain clarity. But clarity means right under your nose. So, um, a lot of truths are going to be told here uh, in this connection. Spirit, give me three cards, please. Wow. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay, uh, cyber bully. Um, you are being bullied online or they are, has suffered from it. Okay, so I see that, you know, you guys are, um, you know, on the internet too much. Possibly you guys are researching too much, looking up somebody's information. Somebody's looking up your information. Um, trying to find out information on you. You trying to find out information about another person. Okay. Uh, you gain some type of clarity uh, about a situation. All right. <clears throat> Happiness hater. Wow. Uh, I definitely see this is a third party look. Three, three. Can't make this up. It's a third party situation some of you all are dealing with out here. Um, take it how it resonates. Some of you all may be married. There's another woman involved here in the situation. Or um, possibly this talk, this talk is going to be surrounding um, a situation where one partner, with, where you want to be with somebody else or they want to be with somebody else. Right? And you're not going to like this. But somebody wants to go towards their happiness, but somebody's going to try to block it and hate hate on this happiness that somebody else wants to go towards, okay? But this is saying harmony, get on key. So Spirit is saying that your soul, um, you know, whatever it is, you got to release it and let it go. Because right now, you got to get on your spiritual path. You're going to, they're going to be, uh, Spirit is going to be aligning with you, with your spirit, your soul group, Okay? This is meant to happen. So this is a karmic partner, basically. All right? And if you were married, this is a karmic marriage. Okay? It's a learning lesson for you. All right? But you're going to be uh, meeting someone that's going to align with you. Your true soulmate. That's what I heard. Your true soulmate. Jackpot. You see? Winning money. Got rich. Inheriting unexpected money. So some of you all may be worried about money right now. Breakthrough. It's a breakthrough. Hold on. Excuse me. Some of you all may be worried about um, finances right now. And um, Spirit is saying don't worry about finances. Okay? Um, just release all this negative. Um, if somebody wants to go, um, it's going to hit home. It's tough love. But uh, don't worry about it. Okay? Um, they got somebody else better for you. A breakthrough. It's coming. You know, you're going to you're gonna hit the jackpot. A soulmate. Okay? Wow. This is tough for real. All right, cancers. Um, um, let's lighten this up. Okay. I'm 
I just seem to keep hurting you because all of the pain I have inside. That's why I just stay away. So tough love. All right. So somebody um, don't want to hurt you anymore. Possibly somebody don't know what they want. All right. They're not prepared for a relationship. Okay. Um, I want to talk to you again and make things right between us. But I'm so afraid that you will reject me. Okay. Um, yeah. I'm constantly thinking and dreaming about you. You are everywhere and always there. It's like you put a spell on me. This is all so strange. Wow. So somebody out there is um, really... Um, with the cyber bully, a fellow cyber bully watching you, um, looking through your social media, want to find out things about you, okay? But somebody here that you rejected, mm -hmm. but I see is a talk concerning um, a situation surrounding a marriage because I see married couple here, a long-term kind of commitment type of thing. Somebody wants to go to their happiness. <clears throat> wow. Okay. Mm -hmm. Get the fuck outside. Move your ass. Your body is pissed at you. Okay. So some of you all may be um, in this uh, negative mindset. But get the fuck outside. Move your ass. It's like I see somebody moving on from this connection. Okay, speaking their truth, you guys are going to have a serious conversation surrounding, I see a marriage here, a married couple, um, that somebody wants to go to their happiness, but Spirit is saying, allow them to do that, okay? Uh, this rejection is divine protection because they have somebody else for you. They have a true love coming in, but jackpot, money, make it rain. So Spirit is saying, if you're concerned about money, don't be concerned about money in this situation. It's gonna, you're gonna be okay. And love, you see, they send it in a true love. Get some, give some, it will cheer your ass up. So definitely a new love is coming in for you guys. You guys just don't see it yet. Okay? Let's continue. Wow. Six of Pentacles turn upside down, not an even give and take in this situation. Wow, fighting, uh, competition, arguing, not getting along, not even give and take, not balanced. Spirit is saying this is karmic, this is not your true soulmate. Mm -hmm. Your true soulmate is coming in. They have somebody for you. Yeah, look, again, I can't make this up. Mm -mm. Wow. Ooh. Okay. I'm going to give you the fraternity. <laughs> Queen of Wands and the uh, Five of Wands. Okay, so um, if you guys are in a higher level relationship, okay, a marriage, all right? Um, the Queen of Wands usually depict another woman. Uh, Aries Leo Sagittarius, she's very fiery, she's very sexy, she's very beautiful, she makes things happen, she's very lucky. Um, yeah, she's very confident, okay? Um, and I see, okay, so I'm going to give you different interpretations, right? So there may be fights or arguments about another person, okay, male or female, all right? Uh, the other person, I'm going to say the other person, um, Surrounding this, uh, yeah, it's like a third party situation because in the marriage, you see three people, the three dogs with harmony get on key. It's not on key, it's like fighting, arguing over another person and wanting this person to get on key. But with the tough love and the conversation, this is gonna be inevitable, it's gonna happen. But spirit is saying you have to, uh, because I see some of you all want to fight for this connection to keep it together that you like your position uh being you know in a marriage um, wife and um mother if you have children and stuff like that but spirit is saying that no 
that um, this you have to allow this to unfold and let this person go to their true happiness, okay? Because all it's gonna do is block out your true happiness because this is karmic. This is a this is a lesson that you needed to learn, okay? Yes, okay. Now um, I'm gonna give you a different interpretation. Now the different interpretation is um, avoiding avoiding um fighting and arguing with people um but i see like pe people very competitive but with the um maybe some of you all have fire in your chart it was the sagittarius but with the fire um this is action so taking action moving forward um in your gifts spiritual teacher moving forward uh with that spark okay get your spark back all right focusing on oneself your confidence your self-love your self-worth okay and moving past this um karmic um situation okay because some your true love is gonna come in all right wow yeah you see introspection so somebody in this relationship um you guys are really um up your head um had about enough and going within so you guys are probably going through the dark night of the soul as well but really 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 um looking at one's life you feel defeated in this relationship if it's a higher level relationship a marriage you feel defeated and you feel like you know you're gonna fight for this you're gonna fight for this because this is not what you signed up for um you know but spirit is saying it's time to you're, you're done fighting it's time to release this burden Put all your wands together and release it. Because this 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 conversation it yeah, you see? The ace of wands. Alright. So um you may be meeting somebody online, all right, but somebody's watching and wanna come in with communication, okay? They have their eye on you. This is gonna be uh your true uh true love coming in. I want to have a conversation with you. They want to talk to you. I see somebody wants to talk to you. Yeah, Ten of Cups. A true love. I told you. Okay? Yes. And they're going to be a part of your soul group. You're going to... Yeah, yes. Your, your soul group. Your soul mate. Soul group. Soul mate. True love. Yeah, with the Seven of Pentacles. All right? Uh, you guys are worried about... Focused on your money, your finances. You guys are really, really up in your head. And you feel stuck. Like, you don't know how to move forward. Um, but Spirit is saying, stop having concerns about money. Money is on the way. You're never going to be um, messed up in that department. Okay? Yeah. This is having to do with a third-party situation. Okay? Cheating, lies, deceit. All right? Yeah. Another person involved. Uh, possibly uh, Queen of Swords. Uh, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. Um, this... Uh, Wow. Okay. Now this speaks of you speaking up, speaking your truth. But spirit is saying, um, with this um happiness hater, um, uh, do not do not um be like vindictive because all you're gonna do is block your own um blessings for what they have for you. Okay, but I see that you guys are really hitting home when it comes to kids um and responsibilities, okay? Um, yes. Um really speaking your truth but spirit is saying it's time to 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 let this let it go let it go okay let it go all right you guys were really sad like um like really up your head about this but the queen of swords could be vindictive and nurse uh, uh and a narcissist as well <laughs> okay like uh she could throw things in one face so it's like if you found out um, about um, a cheating going on here with somebody else. It's like um, you try to regain, you know, this person. You want them to face up to what they did in this connection. Um, especially if it's a marriage with kids. But, you know, um, but it's like it's a wound that never could be healed, right? Because I see this person love somebody else. And Spirit is saying you have to allow them to go to that person because they have new love for you. But you just don't see it, you know. So stop fighting. Um, just let it be, you know. Just cut the ties already. And Queen of Swords is cutting ties, all right? 
Yeah. You see, with the hangman, sign of Pisces. You guys were are really up in your head about this indecisive one minute yes, one minute no, one minute yes, one minute no, and spirit is but you see what's gonna happen is is something's gonna happen here because the, the conversation is <laughs> this is gonna be and this is this is both of y'all expressing talking around this long term relationship, this marriage. Um, this is serious talk coming and this person is really, really uh, just brace yourself because this person is really, really going to express how they feel and how they feel about another connection as well. Okay. How they feel about another person. Yeah. You see three of pentacles. All right. Too many people involved here, but this piece of collaboration, um, in terms of work, collaborating with people, but, um, I see separation here as well. Somebody just going on their own. And leaving two two people behind, so um, yeah, it's like collaboration, um, separation. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Look what's on the bottom: three of cups. Too many people here. Too many people. This is sad. Yeah, but with the eight of pentacles, uh, spirit is saying you need to work on yourself. Okay, your self worth, your self confidence. Okay, um, and I see that you guys are really um, just focusing on work and your money right now. Mm -hmm. And spirit is saying you may meet somebody at work as well. Soul group, spiritual teacher, uh, like you know, even if uh, like at, you know, if you're uh, at a gathering, speaking at a church, or you know, whatever you do, pastor. You're going to meet somebody, okay, mm -hmm. through work that wants to collaborate with you. It's going to be your true your true love coming in, Ten of Cups. So, wow. Mm. Yeah. Okay. All right. I'm going to get a final outcome. Yeah. So I see so you, so I see you guys were in a high level relationship. Okay? Mary, Queen of Queen of Coins is like somebody that's like a uh, stable with children, family, okay? But I see that your uh, a true love is coming in. Happiness is coming in, right? Somebody was juggling in this um, relationship, juggling two people. Really betrayed you. Really betrayed you, okay? Was deceitful, betraying you, okay? But your guards is up and you're defensive now. But you just seem, you can't seem to let this go. But Spirit is saying, release it. That's it. It's time. They have something better for you. A breakthrough, okay? Be bold. Be strong with this okay the clarity is here but you're gonna get clarity because a serious conversation is gonna take place yeah so with temperance Sagittarius spirit is saying um, just to be patient because uh, balance is gonna be restored in your life once you release this release it once the serious conversation happens and you release it all new is gonna come in and with the Sun card um, you're standing you're gonna be standing in your power in your power, all right. The sun card also speaks of um, children and happiness on the horizon. Okay, so great things coming your way. All right, so all is not lost. You just don't see it yet. But yeah. I told you. I, I I told you. I told you. Okay, so with temptation, right? It's like spirit is saying, um, listen, uh, you know, don't don't feed into this. Like uh, you know, try to fight for something that, you know, but temptation also speaks of people coming in and trying to tempt you with offers. Okay, try to play with your mind. Um, 
just keep your guard up but they send in your true love your you know wait i'm gonna show you okay so um isolation all right you guys are isolated right now dealing with heartbreak due to this uh third party situation and this love this conversation that's going to take place but uh slow and steady all right somebody is approaching you um everything is happening slow and steady everything is going to unfold slow like it's gonna it's gonna wow this is gonna be okay because they sending you a soulmate somebody that you're destined to be with this is a karmic that you're dealing with right now okay I don't know who this message is for, but this is deep. But it's happiness on the horizon for you, my loves. Okay? Just try not to be vindictive. Okay? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You see? Okay. See, Spirit is saying, stop telling them, don't go. Let them go. Don't give up on me yet. I'm scared to lose you. You see? So Spirit is saying, no, let them go. We have your true soulmate coming in. This is a karmic. Okay? Walls. I feel like I can't get through to you. Please let me in. Yeah, so somebody build a barrier around themselves. You you build a barrier and somebody build a barrier. But there's a conversation that's going to take place. Mask, okay? Honestly, I pretend to be someone I'm not because being vulnerable feels uncomfortable. But somebody was wearing a mask in this relationship, not being honest. But this person is going to be honest now. You guys are going to have a serious conversation. And yes, you are destined. You're, you're going to be happy. Yes, destined soulmate coming in. Everything new coming in, jackpot, you're winning. You're going to be winning, yes. Okay, but you don't see it. You don't see it, all right? You have to release this first. Too much fighting, too much arguing. Mm. A yes again. Yes, so you're going to be fine. That's it. Yes. See, again, yes. You're going to be fine. They're sending you your true soulmate. Yes, a divine masculine just for you. Yes. Masculine, feminine. Okay. Yeah. But you were concerned about the family, children, finances. Spirit saying no. They're going to send somebody that is going to accept you and your kids. Okay. Belong to your soul group. Focus on being your spiritual teacher. Focusing on your awakening. Okay, this is an awakening process for you, my loves. Yes, and somebody in this relationship probably awakened too. So both of you all probably went through an awakening, and this person awakened to you know like. But you're awakening, but you you're trying to hold on to it for the family. But spirit is saying no, awaken and walk into your truth. Let this person walk in their truth. You see, travel. I see that you guys are going to be traveling when you meet this person. You guys may be traveling, you know, going um going to places, speaking, and meet this person, okay? And big goals, big goals, okay? A career, business, success, claim in your, your place in the world. So Spirit is saying you need to step up. Don't worry about this broken relationship, marriage, and focus on your gifts, your spiritual gifts, okay? Walk in, walk in your truth. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. I those I I'm telling you, you guys are not listening to me. I'm telling you, and I do see it too. I do see it. Okay, so it says let your friends help you. So some of y'all may be talking to your friends about this. You know what's going on in your situation and stuff like that. But I see a new love, a soulmate coming in. You're going to meet somebody new and it's going to lead to an engagement. Okay, so if you're married now, get a, a divorce, I see you're going to get married again. If you're not married, I see you getting married. It's a new love. You just don't see it yet. You're fighting for the wrong, wrong thing. This is a karmic partner. Okay, let's see some careers.
Mm-hmm. Design. So some of you all may like web designing, but it says build a simple and elegant website that attracts buyers who love and engage with your brand. Okay, web designing. Entertain, YouTube, uh, yeah, spiritual teacher, you know, like light workers. Go out there, so speaking to people, blah, blah, enlightening them on the world and awakening and how it could be, you know, relationships, whatever. That's what I do. Okay, your brand should educate and entertain your clients. See? Make them smile, laugh, and feel great when they interact with you and your brand. Okay? Yes. And make sure it's diversified. Okay? Hire. Help is on the way. You see? Help. So ask your friends, but yeah, you're going to get the help. If you're feeling overwhelmed with a never-ending to-do list, our social mundane business tasks to a virtual assistant, get the support. You are definitely going to get the support, and I see that with money and finances, you're not going to be fucked up. Move forward. Take action. So Spirit's saying, you see, again, you have to disconnect from this uh, this relationship. Overcome your fear to take real action to move your business forward. Don't wait or justify. Step out of comfort and take your next action step. Okay? I'm going to pull a moon card and then I'm going to end, close out this reading. It's time to take action. There you go. Take action. Take action. Move forward. Message is clear. Because there's somebody else for you. Okay? All right, my loves. I love you. That was your message. I'm possible. You're possible. Get NC to the side. I'm out.